Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I want to just go over something real quick today on Scientific Coin. Just one of the, the neat aspects that are coming um, in the project. Once again, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate all the views, the likes, and the comments. If you could please crush that like button, it helps me out. If it's your first time here, go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, and for transparency, I'm a very, very low-level peon member of the team on Scientific Coin, which is one of the reasons why I'm going over everything. Um, so let us get into it. The uh, One of the, the cool aspects of Scientific Coin, I've done uh, full reviews, interviews with team members and all. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for the full full review on Scientific Coin, what the project is about. Um, it's basically a, a crowdfunding scientific, it's a crowdfunding platform, but it's just for science and scientific projects and a place for scientists to go and inventors and to give their ideas to it goes through a uh, a mathematic algorithm that uh, can approve it and then it goes to a, a board of experts that also look at it for you know validity of the project for um, fiscally if it's fiscally sound how much money can be made from it all that kind of stuff um, it gives you this is um, I, you go over to scientificcoin.io I'm already logged in so it takes you to the page where all, a lot of the uh, the projects that are there um, that you can pick pick from are there now, um, but we should go to the dashboard because today what I want to go over is their mining. Um, it's a completely different way of mining. It's called uh, I'll go over it in a sec, but you know most mining is proof of work or proof of stake. Uh, this is called proof of research. It's it's really cool and it, it definitely falls in line with uh, with like I said the goals of the platform. Um, they partnered with uh, University of Berkeley, and what they use, you go first. You log in; it'll take you to your profile page. If if it does take you to the uh, the main platform page, you just hit back. Don't try to go back on your browser; it'll just be weird. So just hit back; it'll take you here. Go to mining, and if you go to mining, it shows you the different ways you can earn coins. So there's uh you know um, bounties and stuff like that. You actually go over here and hit mining. Okay. And then it just gives you a brief overview. It's the it's called proof of research technology. Now, what you need to do to get it set up, you can. Now, this is the cool thing, and why why I wanted to bring it now, even though the money's not up and ready to go yet, um, is because you can still use this for the betterment of science. And it's also it's it's a pretty cool thing to do. Um, you click here, it'll take you to this the Bionic software from uh, from University of, of Berkeley. What it is, is uh, it's basically um, you can share your computer power when you're not using it. Like when you're, your computer downtime, you can give that to uh, a scientific project. The super cool thing is that you can choose what project you want to give it to, which I think how you're going to be mining. But you go here, you can download uh, Bionic, and then you launch it, and then it launches you come up here you can actually pick what uh what you uh what you want to um allow to use what project you want to allow you to use your computer your computer time um and it gives you a an explanation of what it is einstein at home uses your computer's idle time to search for weak astrophysical signals from spinning neutron stars i mean you can go look at all these different uh different ones i think seti's yeah seti you, you can you can donate your uh, down computer downtime to uh, the search for extraterrestrial uh, intelligence, which I think is really cool. Um, the only problem with this is there's so many cool projects to pick. Like as soon as I saw SETI, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna put on that. But then there's all these like cooler like I don't know about cooler, but they're like small uh, projects that are, are really neat. Um, but for, so like you can use that now. You download Bionic also. Uh, when you're when you're off your computer, it actually pulls up a screensaver that tells you if Bionic is running or not running. Um, so it seems like a really really cool thing. If you think so, don't think so, leave me some comments. Um, please hit the like I said, please crush that like button. Uh, Scientific Coin. I'll be doing more updates. I think I have an interview with a, uh, another team member. I think on the tech side um, later this month. You guys take care, and I will see y'all in the next video. Kick it!